everyone. In this video we're going to see how to connect uh, to a Postgres database from Python. Now we're going to do that with a library called PsychPG, which is a database adapter for um, Python. Now, uh, first thing first, let's create a Python virtual environment. Let me create a folder called P Postgres. Uh, oh, the folder already exists. Let me remove that. Uh, I'm going to create it again. Okay, uh, let's move inside the folder now. I'm going to create a virtual environment with the VAMF module. There it is. Let's activate the environment and I'm going to install PsychoPG2. Uh, I'm going to install the binary version of PsychoPG because uh, we're going to uh, we don't want to compile from source code, uh, so let's install the binary, and there we go. Now, um, if you already have a, a Postgres server on your local machine or in your, uh, or maybe you have a virtual box or stuff like that, you can use that database for playing around with Python, uh, but in this video I'm going to use Heroku for creating a free application with uh, the Postgres add-on. Now, um, if you want to follow along with me with Heroku, you're going to create, you need to create uh, an account here, and once done that, you can install the Heroku CLI the Heroku tool belt. I already installed on my machine so I'm going to create a new Heroku application. Uh, we're going to call this P Postgres. I hope that, that name is not already taken. Uh, okay, Heroku create P Postgres and uh, we're going to add the Heroku Postgres QL add on. Okay, here we go. Application is being created. Okay, here we go. Now, um, at this point, I should see a free Heroku application in my account with a database connected to it. And um, before uh, getting the credential, let me open this project in PyCharm. Okay, with PyCharm opened, let me create a new file here. We're going to call this file uh, connection.py. Now, with PyCharm open, let me configure the interpreter for my project. Uh, we're going to use the virtual environment we just created. Uh, okay, to use PsychPG in your project, you need to import the library like so. Um, once you have imported the package, you can start creating a, a connection. So for example, I can say con equal psychpg.connect and here we're going to pass the credential for the my free database. Let me go in the console again. Uh, now for getting the credential from a uh, Postgres add-on on Heroku, you can run the Heroku PG credential URL followed by the name of the app. Uh, oh okay, I misspelled the command it is, oh yes, of course it is credential colon URL. And you're going to get this connection string that you can just copy paste inside the project. Here we go. Uh, I think we're good to go. Now with this configuration, we can start opening connections to the database. Uh, the first thing I want to do when I um, play around with database is, for example, creating a table. 
and for creating for creating a table um, we're going to call a method called execute from a cursor now the theory beyond behind the connection to a database with postgres is that first you need to open up connection and here we have a connection um, already and then on that connection you need to open up a cursor so think of the cursor as of a um, light that you can see inside database so i can say con dot cursor and this method will give me back a cursor i can use on my database for executing queries so i can say cursor dot execute by passing in the query um, oh let me create a, a table let me create a table you can say query equal let me put this on a multi-line string create table users with maybe a couple of columns uh, first column could be first name var char not null and since we are in postgres we can create um we can create a primary key named uh a column with which will be a primary key named id it could be a serial data type which is the auto increment in postgres it should be not not null and primary key okay now let me create another column called last name again varchar not null now this is your first query and we're going to pass this query here now um, let me run this code uh, cursor.execute let me save the file too so we open it up postgres connection with psychvg.connect we got back a cursor from this method of the connection we created a query with create table user blah 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 and now we're going to uh, execute this query against the database let me open a console and uh, if i run this code python connection.py uh, it shall create the table now let me open up a psql console to my database that could be can be done with a roku psql uh, oh again i missed the app name a roku psql here it is okay now uh, now i'm connected to this uh, eroku server where all the databases are um, created i can connect to my database and uh, i can confirm that i have this table uh, in the database and there is no table there is no table there is no any re relation in, in uh, the database because i forgot to call another method on uh the connection now anytime you uh, issue a query against a postgres database you open up a transaction too and that trans transaction need to be closed that is done with con dot commit now you can avoid calling commit uh, every time by uh, configuring here con dot set session auto commit true and now anytime you create you issue a new query uh, psychbg will issue the commit too so uh, you can use dot commit or you can also configure the auto commit here now if i save this file and if i run again the code i can see in my database that indeed i've got this users table okay great now uh, uh, how about inserting some data uh, to insert some to insert data um, we're going to create 
another query call insert again that should be uh, that could be a multi-line uh, string insert into users uh, we're going to target just um, first name and the last name column values by the way if you need a recap on uh, the syntax which is pure sql there is a lot of material online i will um, put a link in the description to some uh, some sql tutorial uh, okay so now let me add a first name and last name here and uh, i think we're good to go insert into users with the column name values let's tailor now let me run again this query with another call to execute so uh, cursor dot execute insert uh, since uh, the auto commit is already configured there is no need to call commit again but one thing you should be aware of is that um, when you open up a connection to a postgres database you need to close that connection when you're done and you need also to close the cursor so uh, we're going to do cursor dot close after the last statement and con dot close also now let me run this code again um, we will have an error uh, duplicate table because now the relation users already exists now just for the sake of this video I'm going to drop the table before creating it again uh, please don't do this in production because you're going to cause harm uh, anyway let me run again code and it should run fine uh, column lets does not exist oh, of course because uh, sql values are not uh, double quotes strings you need to use the strong quote so the single quote let me run the code again and this time it shall run now let me confirm that uh, indeed there is uh, the table still here and here it is and let me run a select all from users and i will get back let's tailor with the id one uh, okay now let me add uh, let me add something else here we can create another SQL instruction. Uh, let me add Jane Fonda here. Let's run again the code and let me confirm that the table has the new user in that indeed there is. And here we go. As you can see, the ID gets auto incremented. Um, now, how about fetching? data um, now when you uh, create for example uh, select query like oh this could live in a single line select all from users okay you can pass uh, that query to the cursor again so we're going to say cursor that execute select and now on the cursor you have two uh, you have many other methods uh, one of them is fetch whole fetch whole gets all the result from the previous query so if I say uh, all users and then I print this all users I will get back let's see uh, 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 we will get back a list of tuples where every tuple is a, a user into the database there is also another method called fetch one which uh, of course gets just one row from the database so we can say cursor again we need to 
I should query again first. So cursor execute select, and now we can get just one row from the database with fetch one. And if I'm going to print this one user, I will get back just one sample from the database. Great job! Now this is uh, really a contrived example of connecting from Python to a Postgres database. In a real application you might want to wrap these queries inside a function and you may want to take a look at the section about query composition in the post in the PsychPG um, documentation. Here it is, SQL string composition. Take a look at this after you finish up this tutorial because it is really important and it will help you to prevent SQL injection in your uh, Python application. Um, oh, keep in mind that you can also use the um, cursor and the connection with the Python context manager. So for example you can say with con.cursor as cursor uh, cursor dot execute your query and now, any time, um, and now every time you call this code, uh, the cursor uh, will be closed for you. Uh, you have just to remember that the connection need to be closed by hand. Either way, that's all for this video. Hope it helped, and happy coding.